Russia has launched ultra-pure germanium production for the first time. A substance essential for precision missiles, secure communications, and spacecraft operations. China has limited this element's supply to Western nations. We'll explain what caused this, why Patriot air defense system production is at risk, and introduce the new Hero of the Week, all after a quick summary of positive news. The Shrednanevsky Shipbuilding Plant launched the sixth Project Zero high-speed passenger catamaran, 4580. In the Krasnoyarsk region, the second launch complex of the Pilot Center for Spent Nuclear Fuel Processing began operations. An unmanned aerial vehicle battery plant opened in St. Petersburg. The Leningrad region now has an abrasive materials facility. Sverdlovsk region launched a metallurgical products plant. Ryazan region has a special coated pipe facility. Belgorod opened a high-tech feed dispenser plant. Stavropol region has a new feed mill. Tula region launched a pig farming complex. All members of the Russian team won medals at the 55th International Physics Olympiad in Paris. A week ago, the publication reported serious problems faced by American weapons manufacturers. In particular, the head of the company, Leonardo DRS Bill Lin, stated that Germany's supplies are running out. If the situation doesn't change soon, finished product deliveries will be disrupted. Other American drone, aviation, and missile manufacturers face the same situation. At the moment when Trump almost pushed Europe to buy American weapons, it turns out that they can't do without metals and elements supplied by China. The Chinese started restricting supplies a few years ago in response to restrictions on the supply of chips and lithography equipment. But it seems that the real shortage is only starting to be felt now. There are several reasons. First, China has tightened controls and increased supply chain monitoring. Second, Western countries have depleted their stockpiles. And although the restrictions affect a whole range of irreplaceable elements, let's especially highlight Germany, and here's why. In 1871, Russian scientist Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev used his periodic system to predict germanium and its properties. But in practice, this element was obtained by the German chemist Clemens Winkler 15 years later, and as the rightful discoverer, he named it after his country. The element has no other connection to Germany. It isn't even mined there today. In fact, it's mined in very few places and only in small amounts, about 150 tons per year. Most of both the mining and supply comes from China. That's because the element is evenly dispersed throughout the Earth's crust, and pure deposits of it are rare, and almost all minerals containing it are found in the ores of other metals, such as zinc. Russia ranks second in production after China, followed by Canada. The other countries, including the United States, make do with very little domestic production, imports, and extracting raw materials from recycled waste. That's why access to Germany is a weak spot for most of the world, but why is it so important to everyone? Germany's unique properties make it essential for manufacturing lenses and optics used in thermal imagers, night vision devices, and laser guidance systems. Microwave transistors and microchips using Germany provide high-speed signal processing in radars, communication systems, and fire control systems. That's why Patriot air defense systems, like much of the Western arms industry, rely on Chinese supplies. It is also used as a detector of gamma and X-ray radiation in nuclear monitoring systems. Special communication lines need Germany too. 
It reduces signal loss in Germany's fiber optics, is used in satellite solar panels, increasing their efficiency, which is important for long-term reconnaissance missions. And besides all that, of course, there are also civilian applications. In the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, industrial scale production of germanium began in 1959 at the Mednogorsk copper sulfur plant. And in the 1970s, they started exporting it to other countries and became the world leader in the industry. Our scientists achieved level five germanium purity or 99.999%. This enabled its use in semiconductor devices, but more complex equipment required even higher purity. We lack time for that. Recently, news reported that Krasnoyarsk launched Russia's first industrial production of ultra-pure tetrachloride. Germany with four nines passed the decimal. The key term is industrial production, referring to large-scale output for major deliveries. We've done this in labs for a long time and even purer than Germany. But the launch of large-scale production specifically opens up new prospects. We won't discuss the military ones, but the civilian ones matter too. It is known that the new production will allow us to independently create preforms from which telecommunication and technical optical fiber is later produced, and all modern digitalization relies on it. Russia now has a complete Germania production cycle, from extraction to finished products. But how did we live without it before? As mentioned, we can produce small amounts of Germania in laboratories. You only need a little since it's just an alloy additive. In addition, Western analysts claim that we, unlike the United States, continue to receive everything we need from China. However, there is a theory that China itself is restricting supplies to the West, not only as part of a trade war, but also because its own profitable reserves are running out. That makes it more interesting to consider another news item. At the moment, Russia is considering the possibility of developing the Sardan lead zinc deposit in Yakutia. Deemed unprofitable in the 1980s, it was mothballed. Given recent events, everything seems different. Besides millions of tons of zinc and lead, Sardana also has about 6,500 tons of germanium. That's roughly 150 years of global consumption. There are also other deposits in Primori, the Baikal region, and Sakhalin. Germanium prices have surged past $2,000 per kilogram due to restrictions. So we really do have enormous wealth right under our feet. Most importantly, no one can stop us from having it. And after we mastered industrial purification technology, we gained another undeniable advantage in our hands.